Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived, hallelujah, one more time, let's get ready to get it in, y'all, let me do a little tag in this one, is that alright, do a little tag in it, I pray everybody is broke, hallelujah, Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Okay, um. Let's get ready to roll, y'all. Let's get ready to roll. Okay. Let's get ready to rock, y'all. Recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Man. On early, will I seek the scripture study and prayer line on this 26th day in October 2020? Jackie, what's up? What's up, sis? Hallelujah. Uh, Yosef in the house. He's in the house. We got battle up in here and Elder. Uh, Big Sean and Big Mark. Uh, Maddie Yahoo Dolls. She's chimed in with us. Uh, hallelujah. It's a beautiful thing. As y'all come on in, feel free. Hallelujah to push the, uh, you know, the share button. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's, let's, let's get ready to, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go to Corinthians. Let's go. Let's go to Corinthians this morning. First Corinthians ten. First Corinthians ten. Hallelujah. Yeah. And, and I think I want to read out of the um the NIV. It says, it's not the cup of, of, of thanksgiving for which we we we, we, we give thanks uh, um, a participation in the blood of the Mashiach. And it's not the bread that we break a participation in the body of the Mashiach. Because there is one loaf and we who are many are one body, for we all share the one loaf, <clears throat> right? Okay, I'll read a little bit more and then I'll break it down. Consider the people of Israel, for not those who, who eat the sacrifices, uh, 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 participate in the altar, do I mean then that food sacrificed to an idol is anything? Or that an idol or that an idol is anything? No, but the sacrifices of pagans are offered to demons and not the Yah. And I do not want you to be participants with demons. You cannot drink the cup of Yah in the cup of demons too. You cannot have a part in both Yah's table and the table of demons. Are we trying to arouse the Most High's jealousy? Are we stronger uh, than the heat? Okay. Good to see you on, Charvet. Uh, let's break it open. Good to see you on, Danina. 
Um, back to sixteen, right? The cup, the cup of blessings, which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Mashiach, or or is not the cup of thanksgiving for which we give thanks for participation in the in the in the blood of the Mashiach and, and, and the bread that we break? Is it not the partic participation in the in, in the body, right? See, the bread that we break, right? The, the, the cup of wine that we drink, right? I don't drink, y'all. But let me get it out. The, the, it's talking about the communion, right? And when you deal with communion, you're dealing with the physical act of the feast, right? You got the feast of unleavened bread. You're sitting down, you're at the supper, you're breaking bread and you're drinking wine, right? You're eating of a table. You're eating, you're eating of a table. You're at a table. Whose table is it? Whose table is it? You're, you're breaking bread, you're breaking bread and, and you're drinking wine and you're eating. You're eating unleavened bread. Whose table is it? It's the most highest table. Right? Spiritually, you're sitting, you're sitting at the table. Now, what the wine represents is the blood of the Mashiach. Like the blood that was put on the lamp post. That Korim, I can't say it right now, so I won't. Commemorated. Commemorated. Commemorated the um You know, the death angel passing over, which is which is why there's even a feast, right? So you, you got you got the blood that's put on the on the doorpost so the so the death angel was will pass over. And then that death angel went and killed the firstborn of of, of the Egyptians, right? So you're sitting at the table. You're, you're enjoying this feast, you're sitting at the table, and you're breaking bread. And you're drinking, again, the wine represents the blood. The breaking of bread represents the body. Getting a little deeper, the bread represents uh, the word. Yeah. And, and drinking of the cup not only represents the blood, but it represents the new contract, the new covenant that you're entering in with the Most High. The physical piece was the eating of the food, which, which represented which represented the relationship with the Most High, the table that you're sitting at with the Most High. The cup of blessings which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of the Mashiach? It wasn't actually, it represented. The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of the Mashiach? For we being, for, for we being many are one bread, through, through through this process, we become a part of his body. There's a physical act, but it really exemplifies the spiritual act of us becoming one with the Messiah, one with Yah, and we're being baptized into that body. For we being many are one bread and one body. For we are all partakers of that one bread. How are we partaking? We're sitting at the table. We're, 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 we're drinking the wine and we're breaking the bread. Can we physically break some bread? Yeah. Physically drink some wine? Yeah. But 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 it really simplify, simpli uh, exemplifies exemplifies our relationship with the Most High. We're partaking in a, for the lack of a better term, a ritual. A physical ritual that really has a spiritual significance. Are you with me? Look at the 18 verse. Be behold, Israel after the flesh are they which eat of the sacrifices, partakers of the altar, on a uh, wood. Oh, 
Behold, Israel after the flesh are not they which eat of the sacrifices partakers of the altar, right? The priests would eat the meat from the from the from the from the the, the sacrifice on the altar, right? Yeah, they would eat the food that was sacrificed, right? It says. And you can read that in Leviticus 6 chapter, right? But same principle. We're eating of the bread, we're drinking of the wine, and we're partaking of the altar of the Most High, which the origin came from Torah, with Israel, when the Levitical priesthood, when Aaron and his son would make the sacrifice, they would eat of the flesh. They would eat of the meat. That was sacrifice. Aren't they partakers of the altar? Of course. That's why they was able to eat it. They were able to eat of the altar because they partook of the altar. Right? 19 verse 8. What say I then? The, that, the, that the idol is anything? Or which is offered? In sacrifice to idols, anything? I read it in the NIV. Starting at 18. Consider the people of Israel. Do not those who eat the sacrifice of, of, of sacrifices part, uh, 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 participate in, in the altar? Do I mean then that food sacrifice to an idol is anything? Or that an idol is anything? No. But the sacrifices of pagans are offered to demons and not to Yah. And I do not want you to participate with demons. Look. He's not saying that the animal was anything. Nor is the food offered to idols anything. He's not deifying it. He's not making it uh, of any significance, right? You're just partaking spiritually in a altar is the point. You're, you're partaking in a altar. You're partaking in a ritual, right? He ain't going to give no credibility to the, the animals or the things offered to demons. Like, put it this way. We're faced, those that are in the land of captivity, right? There are practices and rituals that are sacrificed to demons. And that's what this is talking about. There, there are rituals that are sacrificed to demons, right? Like, like Halloween, right? And, and, and we'll, 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 we'll get, uh, you know, a little deeper in, in, into the, the, the Celtics, sometimes pronounced Celts. But, but but the Celtics and the Druids, which was the which was the demonic priests and authority over uh, the Celtics, and how they had satanic uh, evil rituals, and how the Catholic Church incorporated that uh, when dealing with with, with, with the uh, uh, the Irishmen and them, you know, and, and their and their satanic uh, uh, rituals. The Catholic Church is married all that, grabbed that garbage. And, and, and made it to what we now know to be Halloween, right? But it had super satanic origins in dealing even with the Day of the Dead or or, or, or Saints Day and all that. You know how some Latin folks uh, get involved in the Day of the Dead and they got them skulls with the eyes and, you know, this, all this satanic ritual stuff, right? So this would be talking about is like the food and the candy and the and the and the and the little rituals that they have anything? He say no, but those that partake of that are sitting at a table. They're sitting at a table. There is a table spread, right? And they said you cannot sit at Yah's table and the table of demons also. He's not giving any credibility to it, but but what's happening uh, uh, spiritually? Let, let me get deeper. Let's go a little deeper. Let, 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 me, let, let, me, let, me, let me read a little bit more, right? It says, consider, consider uh, 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 the people 
of Israel back to 18, y'all. Consider the people of Israel. Do not those that, that who eat the sacrifices uh, participate in the altar. Do I mean that the food sacrificed to an idol is anything? No. Or, 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 or that an idol is anything? No. But the sacrifices of pagans, right, are offered to demons. They're, they're doing sacrifices, but they're offering it to demons, not to Yah. And I do not want you to, to be participants with demons. You cannot drink of the cup of the Most High and the cup of demons too. You cannot have part in both tables. You cannot have. Uh, 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 you cannot uh, be part in in both Yah's table and the table of demons. Are we trying to arouse Yah's jealousy? Are we stronger than He? You 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 want Yah, right? And you want to, like, say, if you're the one that want to break bread and drink the wine in a form of saying, you know, that I am participating in, in Yah's table, then you turn around and go trick-or-treating and, and get dressed up on, on this satanic ritual. He's not going to give any, any credibility to the ritual, per se, part of it, right? He's not, he not going to give any importance to the candy and all. He's not going to do that. But what you are doing is you're partaking in a ritual that's, sac that's offered to demons. And, and, and this is saying uh, the Most High don't want you participating in, in, in the table of demons and his table too. And then he asks the question, are you trying to make him jealous? Maybe you schizophrenic or something? It, it, w w the things that we do, we do for Yah. If we did have physical communion, we were doing it for Yah. Then you turn around and partake, part, partake in another ritual, but it's a part of a seance, but 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 it's, but it's part of a, a satanic ritual. You, you you partake in a ritual that's glorifying the dead in the name of it's cool. It it don't matter. Yeah, it matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, if you partake in the things of Yah for Yah, and then you're going to turn around and part, partake in the things of the devil, and you say it's not for the devil, but you're partaking in his ritual. And, 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 and so he wants to say, I, I don't want you, I don't want you to do that. What do what, what, what you do? What, what, are we stronger than Yah? We got, we got, a, we got a, a, a bigger plan, a better plan? Are we trying to provoke him to jealousy? He's teaching good, y'all. But I'm going to read a little bit more. 23, right? I have the right to do anything. Look what he's saying. I have a right to do anything you say, but not but not everything is beneficial. Look at, look at the position, right? And I, I want you to get to understanding it and, and what's, what the thing is. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient, right? Uh, another uh, a breakdown of it is I have the right to do anything you say. So it's more of an accusation. Oh, I can do that. I know this This don't mean nothing. It's for the kids, right? I, I, I have a right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. You, you shouldn't do it. There's more of a reason not to do it than to do it. Let's keep reading. I have the right to do anything you say. But not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything. But not but but not everything is constructive. Right? No one should seek their own good but the good of others. Look what he said. You should be more a bigger picture type of an individual, right? Good to see you on Beverly. Knowing that you're partaking in a satanic ritual. And things that are anti yah from its origin is wicked and it's evil, and you're partaking in it. Yeah, the origin of communion. You got to look at that. The origin of the feast of, 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 of tabernacles. The origin of any of the feasts. There's an origin of it. Well, there's an origin of this wicked stuff too. There's an origin of Christmas. There's an origin of Valentine's Day. There's an origin of of Thanksgiving, there's an origin. There's an origin of it, and we 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 we're smart and understand the origin as we're learning who we are and whose we are, 
And we start learning uh, 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 the feast days, the festivals, and the things that we used to celebrate in commemoration of the Most High. There's an origin of it, and it is leading us to, to the Most High. It's our schoolmaster. We're learning about the Most High. Well, this stuff has got a schoolmaster too. There's an origin of these things, and we shouldn't we shouldn't be ignorant. So again, the third verse, right? First Corinthians ten and twenty three. It said, "I have a right to do anything you say, right? But but everything ain't beneficial. Don't get it twisted. You might have a right to do it, but is it beneficial? I have a right to do anything, but 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 not everything is constructive. If it's not constructive, I mean it is damaging." <coughs> 24 verse says, no one should seek their own good, but the good of others. We've been bought with a price. Our lives are no longer our own. We're now presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable to Yah and it's our reasonable worship. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed, changed by the renewal of your mind. We, 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 don't, we, don't, we don't partake in satanic rituals. Because you're going to come out with some candy. Because you're going to come out with some presents. Because you're going to come out with, with, with an Easter basket. <laughs> we, don't, we don't partake in rituals that's off the, the origin. If you want to tell me a, 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 about the origin of the Pentecost. It's the origin. Well, what's the origin of Halloween? You, 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 you want to eat at a, 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 a devil's table in the name of Yah. Come on, are you serious right now? Look, 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 25 verse. Look what he said. He said, eat anything sold in the meat market without raising questions for the conscience, right? Because we know that there's nothing wrong with the meat. There's nothing wrong with eating. There's nothing wrong with candy. There's nothing wrong. It ain't, you know, there's some unhealthy meat and some unhealthy candy and sugar ain't good for you and all that. But get my point, y'all. Everything is, eat, look what it said. He said, eat anything sold in the meat market without raising questions of conscience, right? You don't want to try to find, oh, it's just kosher, you know, it's, it, I don't need kosher. It, you, know, you, want, you, want, you want to get to the bottom of it, you might get to the bottom of it, and now you can't eat it. You could have just ate it, and thanked the most high for your food, and went on about your business. Eat anything sold in the meat market without raising questions for conscience. For the for for the earth is a Yahuwah's and everything in it. If an unbeliever invites you to a meal and you want to go eat, did you hear me? I said an unbeliever, a pagan. If a, if a, if a, if a pagan, an unbeliever invite you to a meal and you want to go eat whatever is put before you. If they can cook, they can cook, y'all. Eat whatever's put before you without raising questions of conscience. But if someone say to you, this has been offered in sacrifice, then do not eat it. Both for the sake of the one who told you and for the sake of conscience. I am referring to other person's conscience, not yours. Why is my freedom being judged by another's conscience? I'm free to eat it. I'm free to get candy. I'm free to boil eggs. I am free to eat whatever. But I am not free to eat things that are offered to devils. Rituals to devils. In other words, <laughs> if someone came to me, if a pimp came to me, and said, here, man, let me give you this thousand dollars, you know. I hear you doing good things, you know, in the community. I have the right to say, okay, thank you. Bless you. And, and thank you. Yeah. And I'm not going to ask him, where you get your money from, player? For conscious sake. He, get, he, he, he tried to do a good deed, man. He wanted to repent. I don't know what it is. He could have hit the lottery. He could have had a job on the side. You know, the side. A adult or a liar can offer you some money. We want to, we want to pick him out because he's a pimp. We want to pick him out because he's a dope dealer. What, 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 what you, what you got a car shop and you take advantage of old ladies. Yeah, you, 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 you give them an oil job and they didn't even need it. But they old women, they don't know. They took your word for it. Ain't no difference. 
And I'm not going to try to find out, hey, bro, where you get this $1,000 from? I heard your shop take advantage of old lady. Well, then I can't take, accept the money. Back to the point. <coughs> if an unbeliever invites you to a meal and you want to go, eat whatever's before you without raising uh, questions of conscience. Don't, don't, don't leave it alone. Right? But if someone say to you, hey, man, if the pimp said to me, hey, man, I had a real good job. You know, the girls work hard. Feel me and got my paper up, man. I just want to give you, I just want to give you some money. You said, no, man, I'm not accepting that money. That, that's, a, that's attached to demons. That's the, attached to devil. I'm not the type that's going to take that money. Yeah, you, 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 you it sacrifice the demon. If, if, if a person say, uh, 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 come, eat, like, come, come eat this, I'm sacrificing this to Buddha. Come on and have a meal. But I'm not eating no food sacrifice to Buddha. I'm not going to trick or treat with you. Because even in the marketing of the day, it's, it's demons and gobbles and devils and wickedness. It's already marketed what it is. It's satanic. God is a fertility, a doggone rabbit with some eggs. What that got to do with Yah? Nothing with the resurrection. Nothing. It's exactly the opposite of the resurrection. And because it's marketed as a satanic day with a little thin paper of Catholic, a little paint job of a Catholicism, because the Catholicism piece is wicked too. It was the Catholic Church that adopted Halloween or, or Saints Day, the Day of the Dead. They, 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 they adopted those paganistic satanic rituals because they satanic. Catholic, Catholic, universal. A gumbo, a collage of all kinds of paganisms mixed in with, with a little Christ a name slapped on it and, and, and they're going to shove it down believers' throats. They, 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 had to, they had to torture Israel. When they were shipped into slavery, they had to torture and kill millions of them because they weren't going for that bull crap. No, I was out of here with that. <coughs> they were down with Torah. They was down with, with the book. They were messing with that man. They had to kill and torture them. Well, over the progression of time, folks accepted it now. They had to kill them to get them to go to Sunday worship from the Shabbat. They had to kill them and torture them. But now, folks love Sunday. I'm not saying don't worship on Sunday. I'm not saying worship every day. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, what did they do? It's pain. They, 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 they appease to Satanism, Luciferianism, wickedness. And when it's marketed publicly, then what you doing doing it? If an unbeliever, let me read it over here, y'all. 27. I got to get to you. I got to get to you. Look what it says. 27. KJV. If any of them that believe not bid you to a feast and, and you be uh, disposed to go, whatever said before you, eat, asking no questions for conscience sake. He went on to say, not your conscience, because you know it's just food. You're not giving no credibility to the food. But you're sitting at the table. But, but the table, the table don't even mean nothing. The only table that means something is the table of the Most High. And you got to understand that the Levitical priest ate of the meat of his table because they partook in the altar. What does Satan mimic that? He has rituals and food and, 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 and holidays, holy days, whatever you want, holidays that's commemorating him and his wickedness. And he got his children uh, with, 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 with the same methodology that the Most High have with his. He got his stuff. Well, we're living in a time, in a place, we're living in a place that has their feast days and festivals, their new moons, and their way of doing things. And if you look at the origin of it, it's satanic and wicked as heck. And in your captivity, you're subject to this. You were raised doing this. It's ritual. Doggone cross, cross buns. What do you call them? Whatever them buns is. All that wicked stuff. If you look at the origin of it. 
It's like, like, look at the the, the origin uh, 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 of the feast days and festivals. Look at the origin of these wicked days. And and, and if oh no, let me read it. <clears throat> if any if any of them that believe not be to a feast, and you're disposed to go, whatsoever said before you, eat, ask no questions for conscience' sake. But if any man say unto you, this is offered in sacrifice unto idols, eat not. Don't you touch it. Eat not for his sake that showed it. And for the con for, for, for conscience sake. For the earth is Yahuwah's and the fullness thereof. 29 verse. Conscious, I say, not thine own. It's not for your conscience sake because you serve the most high. If you did go get some candy, you serve the most high. If you did have, got together and had a good time, if you served the most high. If you, if you did have a meal like they call Thanksgiving, they thank they thanking Satan for the for the murder and the mutilation of the indigenous people of America. The people that was here first, they slaughtered them and then they celebrated. They raped little girls and little boys, and they shipped little girls and little boys off to England for for for, for them. For them to rape and, and, and use them and dog them out. And they sat and they ate. A people that trusted them, opened their arms to them, and they were devils. And they ate and, and, they, and they celebrate. Now they got you celebrating it. Not celebrating that crap. Satanic stuff. I'd rather celebrate things than celebrate y'all. Look, look, but if any, I'm done, y'all. I'm out of time. But if any man say unto you, this is offered uh, in sacrifice on the idols. Sacrifice on to the gang. Play up. Oh, we had a good day on the track. Oh, man, I, I went up there, home invaded, and, got, and came out with some money. Man, now I want to pay my tithe. Keep that money, pimping. I don't want nothing to do with it. If somebody offer you something, some food or something, and they don't say I broke into somebody's house, you can receive it. But... It, it, you, you don't need to investigate. You're going to end up not being able to eat. <laughs> You're going to be able, not be able to receive it. Yeah. Uh, that's the truth. But if any man say unto you, this is offered in sacrifice on the idols, eat not for, for his sake that showed you. Right? You live a filthy life and you get your paycheck. Adulterer. <clears throat> you don't want to pay tithes. You know what I mean? They want to respect the most high. They probably ready to repent. Yeah, yeah. You, you you had pagan people that sent sacrifices to to to, to people of Yah, like the Queen of Sheba sent uh, money and stuff to Solomon. Why? Because he was a man of the most high. <coughs> he could look in her life and say, "Wait a minute, lady, what you over there doing?" Ah, oh, nah, I can't accept it. Just like if somebody investigated you before you came to Yah, and you tried to give something. You sell weed. You have money. You want to repent. You tired of selling weed. You want to change your life. You want to give. Or the preacher, you know, you say, oh, I had a good day selling uh, bundles of dope illegally. You understand me? Fired up, fired it up over there in Oakland. You hear me? And, and, and weed, man, I'm a, you need to eat too. Nah, I don't eat like that. You keep that. You 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 wanna you wanna you wanna trigger drink? Nah, I'm cool. It's already marketed what it is. Why would I do that? Why I why why would I provoke the most high jealousy? You got you got you got believers in the process of getting ready. You feel me? Want to put a little a little Christian uh, a name on it? That's what Catholicism did. They kind of tried to change the name a little bit. They didn't do a, too good of a job because they really didn't care. They know folks are so gullible that they like rituals and candy and gifts so much they don't even care. You know what I mean? So they didn't hide it too much. And just like right now, you got you got you got churches getting together, getting ready for Halloween. Want to call it Holy Ween? Joker, go on with that mess, man. The origin of that stuff is sacrifice to demons and devils. And since it's marketed like that, y'all keep that crap. If you belong to the most high, represent. Because if anybody bids you to the feast and don't say nothing to eat, if anyone say, come over, we're having candy and cake, go send the kids over, have a good time, read some scriptures and have a good time. But if they say, oh, no, this is Halloween, this is, this is Easter, this is, this is Easter, Easter, this is, this is, this is, this is Satan, man, keep that crap. 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Thanksgiving and what you did to the indigenous people. You killed everybody. You dogged them out. And then go put in the history books uh, like this, like, like that pirate was a saint. He discovered, discovered, discovered America. That, that pirate came, that pelifying power devil came and killed these innocent people, took their land and dogged them out. And, 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 and tell the truth, shame the devil. I ain't celebrating that. Y'all, y'all that's talking about the Halloween stuff, cut that out. Look at, look at, look at. That's supposed to be one of the, the most wicked days of the year. And, 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 and when when the dead and the living is all merged to one, the dead can come roam the earth and all that. And just like they're doing the CERN with that machine, they're trying to open up the gulf that the Most High had fixed where, where, where the fallen angels are. They try to they try to get man to work with them, work with the satanic forces to open up the to rip that veil, that gulf that was fixed, so that these demons can come on earth. And a good time to do that is like uh, October thirty uh, first, when the eve of the Day of the Dead, and right there, uh, that that's where they supposed to merge on the eve, on the eve of you know when the day first start on the eve of it, and and don't celebrate that. Stay away from that mess. You know, you should be praying to Yah on that day. You should be, you, and you, and you should be doing his rituals, not the rituals of of, of the devil. Leave that, that, leave that mess alone, y'all. Leave, leave that mess. Come on, among them. We're in the last days in judgment. This place is being judged. You can't see it. And the cold part about it is we're partaking in the judgment because we won't come out from among them and be separate. Come out from among them. When, when, when the Most High, I'm done, y'all, but when the Most High was uh, judging Egypt for what they did, for what they were doing to his children, when he was judging them, in Goshen, where they was, he wasn't doing that to them. He wasn't doing, he was he was getting Egypt. But but if you over there where the Egyptians is, that's exactly what you're going to get. You got to separate yourself. Put that stuff, leave that stuff alone. Ain't no trick-or-treating, ain't no costumes, ain't no, leave that crap alone. Because they already told you, if, if, if they bid you to a feast and don't say nothing, then you can go. But if they tell you what it is, they already told you what it is. It's Halloween. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for another opportunity to come before you. As we know how gleaning in the truth for your word, because that word is true. Continue to illuminate us quick and us make us alive. Continue to give us truth. And we'll be careful to, to worship you and not provoke you to jealousy. And we'll govern ourselves accordingly. In the master's name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all man. That was the lesson, y'all. Uh, for today, I, I pray you got the food that the most I want you to have. Because um, there's some weird stuff happening right now. Super weird. And as the election comes closer, you don't know what that day going to bring or thereafter. So, anything that belongs to the devil, it will behoove you to get away from it. If you got anything out of the message, feel free to push the share button. And if you enjoyed the lesson, push the like button. If you loved it, you can push the love button. But push something. Is that all right? I humbly thank anyone that supports this ministry. And I say thank you because you help me do what I do. My, my attempt is to preach the truth, to bring light in the dark world. And that's, that's what, what my attempt is in the name of Yah. Uh, that's my goal. And those of you that financially support this ministry, you help me do it. And again, I say thank you and I'm humble. If you are a beneficiary of this ministry and you're learning and growing because of it, um, the word teaches not the muscle, the mouth, or the ox to trade out the corn. If you are a partaker of this ministry and you're growing and you're looking for the ground to sow in and you deem that this is it because you're growing and learning, uh, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash, just put it in the dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. Dollar sign Y A H U D A H Y I S R A E L. That's how you can support this ministry. Also, go on my Facebook page, Yahoo to Israel. Go in there inside of the Messenger and there's a giving button inside of there. Hallelujah. We're about to get on the line and talk about this. You know, I know folks like to talk about Halloween and stuff. And uh, we're going to be swinging on Halloween, Christmas, and Easter. So brace yourself. <clears throat> Anything that belongs to the devil, give it back to him. His women, yeah, his money, his stuff, give, you know, leave him alone. Separate yourself and watch what he do for you. 
Yeah. Um, if y'all want to join us on the line, 302 202 1102, extension 815648. You got any questions? 302 202 1102, extension 815648. Keep that number because we plan to pray at noon and I plan to be back on tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Y'all be